Facebook is blaming yesterday's massive outage that left billions of users unable to log on a technical issue. And many people are calling the chaos and disruption that ensued a wake up call showing just how dependent people are on social media. Our Cameron Thompson digs deeper tonight into the role these apps are playing in all of our lives. Cam? Yeah, and Bill, Candace, as you mentioned, the social media professor that I spoke to said it really does serve as a wake up for people depending on how you use social media and is a good chance for people to reflect on how they use it and possibly make some changes. I think I became aware of the, the, the fact that it wasn't functioning about three minutes in. VCU associate professor Dr. Janine Guidry says she learned of the outages when her family, who lives in the Netherlands, started texting her. We keep in touch through WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger. And Guidry, as someone who studies social media, says it was interesting to watch unfold as some people saw negative impacts like a loss of communication with family or in a business's case, customers. Or they couldn't do their job because their job in a large part depends on advertising and uh, connecting via social media platforms. But on the positive side, some people got an unplanned break that maybe helped them realize just how much time they spend on social media, like some we talked to shared. More, it was like a slap to the face almost. It was just like, you use this app too much, maybe it's good to just take a break for today. Regarding spending too much time online, Richmond Health Director Dr. Danny Avula says he stays away from social media for reasons highlighted by the outage and its potential impacts on people's relationships and mental health, and adds youth are especially vulnerable. And I think we need to continue to dig in and figure out how can youth, children, be able to use social media in ways that are healthier. Guidry says like all technology, social media comes with ups and downs, and people should use Monday to assess their connection with it and any changes that might be needed. Checking our own habits a little bit is not a bad thing to do. Now, possible fixes, again, depending on what side of the issues you fell on. If it was communications for businesses, look at other communications, ways to communicate on platforms not owned by the same company, such as was the case yesterday, or in the case of finding you spend too much time on social media, maybe using one of the screen time apps on your smartphone that track how much time you are spending online.